everyone, I'm Danny here with Jobert at Pond5. Today we'll be showing you everything you need to know to start customizing an After Effects template from Pond5. If you haven't seen part one in this series, check it out first to get the basics on the After Effects interface before you start customizing your template. Next, it's time to import all the media you'll need for your project, such as any photos, music, videos, or logos you want to include. Go to File, Import, navigate to the files on your computer, and select Open. The imported files will appear in your project panel. It's always a good idea to organize your files, so let's create a new folder. Go to File, New, New Folder, and choose a name like Assets or Media. Then drag your imported files into it. You can also create a folder by clicking on the folder icon at the lower left corner of the project panel. Jobert is editing an Instagram story template here. All our After Effects templates are constructed differently, but they each have a help file to tell you which composition to edit and render. In this case, all the compositions you need to edit are in the O1 Edit Comps folder. Expand this folder and all the ones inside it. This template allows you to add 10 images, 10 different texts, and a placeholder for your profile picture. Double-click the Footage 01 composition to open it in the Timeline panel. The Composition panel will also update to show you the content of the timeline. Right now, there's only a null object, which doesn't show anything. Select the image you want to use for the composition and drag it into the timeline. This adds the image to the timeline. You can delete the existing null object since you won't be using it. Adjust the properties of your image by expanding the triangle at the left, then expand the transform properties. You can now resize your layer by changing the values of the scale properties. You can reposition your image by selecting it and moving it around the composition panel. We'll do this nine more times, then one last time so that we can add an image in the account picture composition. Now let's edit the text. Go to Window, Workspace, and choose Text Workspace. This will open the panels that you need when working with text, like the Character panel and the Paragraph panel. Double-click on Text01 to open it. Drag your playhead around the middle so that you can see the existing text when it stops animating. Double-click on the text layer to edit it. This will also automatically select the Text tool from the Tools panel. You'll know that a layer is a text layer when it has a capital T on its name. Select the words in the composition panel and type your sentence. When you're done, just click on an empty area in the timeline or use the Enter key on the numeric keypad. You can change the font and text color by selecting your text layer, then going to the character panel, which is now open because we're in the text workspace. Select the font you want to use from the dropdown. To change the color of the text, just click on the square image on the right and drag the color picker to the color that you prefer. We'll do this for the rest of the composition as well. To render this out to a video, select Instagram Stories Maker inside the O2 Final Comp, then go to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. This opens Adobe Media Encoder. Click on the first drop-down triangle on the left and choose H264, then click on the output file path to tell Media Encoder where to save the video. You can also rename the video to any name you prefer. Press Save, then press the green play button on the top right corner. When you hear a chime, your render is finished. If you need additional help with any After Effects templates from Pond5, just let us know by emailing support at pond5.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have fun!